Yo, what's up guys? My name is Eric from the website techinform.us and on today's video, we're going to be talking about texting on an iOS device. Ooh, a text message. So if you know me in real life, you know I do not have a phone. So for the past three years, I've been texting on my iPod Touch. That does sound bad, but honestly, I've figured out how to use it right, so... Personally, it doesn't bother me terribly. But anyway, back to the main point. There are a lot of apps on the App Store that allow you to text on your iOS device. But which one do you get? So I've tried out a decent amount of texting applications on my iPod Touch. And some are good, some are okay, and some are just bad. Now, of course, there's probably a lot more that I'm going to mention, but here's the ones that, I came, that come to mind at least. Now, when I first got my iPod Touch, uh, I tried this thing called True Phone. I don't know if that's exactly texting. I know it is calling. Anyway, that was bad. You had to pay for it. I don't know what it is now. But yeah, stay away from that. Now, I believe mostly just about this is all free now. There, of course, is advertisements, which is what pays for it. Uh, but there also was Text Plus. Uh, I had a lot of problems with Text Plus. It just didn't seem to work very well. Then there's another app called Text Now. Now, personally, I really like this. I don't know if you can call on it now because... Obviously, I don't use it, but it was a pretty nice um, a UI and stuff. But the problem was, it seemed like it would erase your number if you did not use it for a week. I think that's a little bit crazy. Now, maybe if you use it for a long term, then uh, it won't delete your number that fast. But it did delete it for me that quickly, so I was not too happy about that. So I believe text now is an option for you, but personally, the next one is my favorite. This app I have been using for the three years, and they've really come a long way, and that is text free that is really insane that i've been using text free for the past three years now at this point in time there are two versions of text free and of course they're both free not 100 percent sure what the difference is between the two text free apps it doesn't really say but i have the one with the little yellow phone in the corner and that works great now what is nice is text free does actually give you a number they used to just give you an address of course, I'm not going to give you my meds, but it was like blah, blah, blah at textfree.us. But now they actually do give you an actual number. Now, on textfree, texting is unlimited and, of course, free. Now, there is a calling feature that you can call. See, right here, I can dial any number I choose. But there are minutes. Now, you can buy minutes or you can earn free minutes by downloading these other apps, which I've done and I have, like, what? I have 30 minutes right now. And what is nice is if your friend calls you, then it's free. It's free for you. Now, if you call your friend, that's going to use your minutes. So that is very nice. So basically, just get your friends to call you and not you calling them, basically. Now, unfortunately, I do have to say that the calling is not the greatest. Um, I do find that it has dropped calls sometimes being on Wi-Fi, and the quality of the audio has gotten downhill sometimes. But it is, it is usable if you have to, at least if you have good internet or Wi-Fi. If you don't, then don't bother with calling. Use, like, Google, um, what's in Gmail, the Google calling thing. Forget what it's called, but whatever. So now let's just talk about the reliability of text-free. So when I got text-free, I would find their servers would go out at least once a month, if not more. I remember I would always have problems connecting to the servers, and then there'd be the day that it, is, it does not work for anyone. But luckily... Text free has really come a long way, and I have not had any problems with connect connecting to the servers for the past year now. So overall, I really do recommend text free. It does have some problems with calling, but of course, I don't usually usually call. I'll just be texting, so it's fine for me, and they are pretty reliable. Just make sure you have internet because if you don't have internet, then you really can't use text free or any texting uh, app in general. Sorry that I'm not going to be showing you my iPod. Um, I kind of have a lot of phone numbers here I don't want you to be seeing. So yeah, but it, text free is very easy to use and very simple. Now, I believe text now is a little bit more like nice with the UI, uh, very fancy. But overall, you don't really need something fancy. You need something that works. So I recommend text free, of course, which I've said I think a billion times now. So everyone, that is the video. I hope you liked it. Please comment, subscribe, and like this video because that'll help me. And guys, this is the Techie one. Sunny now.